So yesterday we had Ian Wright on the show and Thierry Henry is in South Africa. We've got Arsenal legends all over the place uh, here in the country. And it's time now to focus in on the UEFA Champions League final because for the first time since 2012 when Chelsea lifted the uh, trophy, the competition will have a winner from the English Premier League. Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur face off tomorrow in the final in Spain. We're joined in the studio with a man who spent some time with Spurs, but spent the bulk of his career in England with Everton and represented South Africa over 60 times for Bafana Bafana. Their former captain, Stephen Pienaar, joins me now. A very good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Uh, good morning. Thanks for having me. So it's very exciting to be a part of this uh, campaign that they just announced uh, to Rion Henry is going to be a part of. He's in South Africa. Can you just explain to us uh, what's actually happening? Yeah, thanks to Heineken, um, we, we revealed the, the tenth unmissable moment and obviously it's Thierry Henry. So um, I think the supporters, uh, the fans will be excited uh, to be in a, in a company of a legend watching the game, uh, the Champions League final. So it's, it's exciting times. I hope it's going to be epic uh, on Saturday. So tell us what's actually going to be happening on Saturday because there's a massive big party that's planned in Johannesburg where Tariq Army is going to be, where you're going to be and everybody watching the Champions League final. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all thanks to Heineken. Um, we're having a, a viewing party to watch the game uh, Liverpool against uh, Spurs on Saturday. And yeah, so basically it's all about football, unmissable moments uh, for the campaign, for the supporters, you know, throughout the, the, the whole uh, season of the Champions League, so it's going to be it's going to be lit. Uh, I mean, you played at Spurs, uh, and to see them reach their first ever UEFA Champions League final. I mean, how did you feel after that victory over uh, Manchester City? <laughs> um, when I beat Man City, I was quite happy. Um, then again, they drew against my, my my former club Ajax that I support dearly. And yeah, for me, it was, you know, one of those moments where you, you don't know who to support in the semi-final. So, but at the end of the day, I think the best team won. Um, Spurs went through, they deserve to go through. They had a long campaign and yeah, hopefully they can lift the trophy on Saturday. Okay, so I was just assuming because of a little bit of time that uh, you spent at Spurs that they are going to get your support. Who are you actually supporting for tomorrow evening? Uh, definitely Tottenham. Okay. Um, obviously with my past playing for the club. Um, and also being a former Everton player, I definitely don't want Liverpool to win. <laughs> <laughs> so what's actually happening in England now? Because since I was small, I've been hearing that the English Football League is the best league in the entire world. But the most successful club in Europe at the UEFA Champions League has been two Spanish clubs. However, this year we've seen a different trend. Both the Europa League final as well as the, as well as the UEFA Champions League have seen all English finals. But uh, what's happening at England at I the I think moment? it's uh, the power has shifted uh, towards the Premier League. Obviously, it's one of the best leagues in the world. Um, most of the best players play in the Premier League uh, because of that. Uh, you know, that's why the teams are doing so well and also the clubs are spending a lot of money on getting the best players to come and play in the league. So uh, that's the reason. And, you know, we've got uh, unbelievable coaches in the Premier League as well. And the four teams that are there, they're there on merit. So it just shows like where the Premier League is at the moment. So it all comes down to the money. Yeah, definitely it does because the money brings all the best players in. So if you don't have money, you can't buy all the best players. Okay, so uh, can you give us a goal prediction for tomorrow evening? <laughs> I'll say 2 0 Spurs. 2 0 Spurs, okay. Um, have you chatted to anybody at, at the team and managed to hear what the vibe is like? No, I spoke to, to Victor Wanyama. Um, he was quite happy. It's his first uh, final as well. His brother won the cup with the Inter Milan a few years back. Uh, so he's excited. He wants to be the second, third African player to live the the Champions League, so he said that the mood is quite, uh, the guys are quite relaxed, the atmosphere is really good and they're all looking forward to it. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing. I know that you've got uh, a group of children and an uh, initiative that you're busy running in Westbury, but tell us a little bit about what you're getting up to these days. Um, I, do, I do a lot of stuff for Everton, ambassador work uh, around Africa. Um, I go out uh, to underprivileged areas where you help kids, uh, you know, just give him some information, education about football in general and, and life skills and also uh, back here in South Africa I've got a tournament that I do uh, every year for kids from under 9 till 
after the seniors, I've, we've got about 120 teams playing every year. So um, it's just giving back to, to my community and the surrounding areas of uh, Johannesburg. When you say you're doing work with Everton, is that kind of like scouting work in Africa? Uh, no, I uh, do like a lot of, uh, um, you know, uh, just activate, activations and stuff in the communities. So, like I said, I go out to underprivileged areas, uh, try to give equipment away to, to kids uh, so they can develop themselves as footballers as well. Uh, we're going to ask you to wait here for a little while because uh, we're going to continue this conversation after the break. Um, and then we will uh, continue our conversation with Stephen Pinner and also bring you our trivia question that we asked you in the first hour. Uh, and that was with regards to Pinar's career with our national team. But we're going to take a break in our headline news and then we'll continue this conversation.